Welcome to BTBS. This is Jay. Today we will talk about ETCD recovery overview. ETCD is main DV for Kubernetes, OpenShift, and so on. It plays in mission critical, so we should back up the data periodically. There are many docs and blogs that explain how to back up and restore the data for ETCD cluster. However, I feel difficulties to recover ETCD members properly. Therefore, I prepared three demos. First, backup data. Second, restore single ETCD member. Third, restore all ETCD members. That is really disaster. This presentation is for explanation about these demos. Each demo will be recorded separately. Test environment. I'm gonna use OpenShift 3.6, etcd 3.2.22, three etcd members on master node. I know OpenShift 3.6 is a little bit old. However, etcd itself is pretty latest version, and you can use these steps until OpenShift version 3.9. However, for OpenShift 3.10, we need to do something different because from 3.10, we are using static pod. Most of steps are very similar. Only different thing is restart the way. From this demo, I will use copying data, not snapshot. Node information. There are three ETCD on each master. They are in one cluster. Each ETCD has their own ID. Simply, I call it ABCXX1, ABCXX2, ABCXX3. The first scenario, single ETCD member lost. There is cluster, we have three ETCD. If we lost one of them, how we recover that? This is the recover process. First, we need to recover single ETCD member. As you can see, the ID is changed. However, still it is okay. We can join it to the closer again. So next, we will join it to closer. After that, this ETCD will synchronize data from other ETCD member. Second scenario, all ETCD member lost. If we lost every ETCD members, how we recover that? This is the recovery process. The first, we need to recover the first ETCD member with backup data. With backup data, we can start up and we don't need to synchronize it. And there is no ETCD, the other node, so there is no way to synchronize. That's why I use backup data. And also this ETCD has different ID, and also it is in the ETCD cluster. After that, OpenShift also recovered that because this ETCD has previous data so OpenShift can get the object from this ETCD. After the first ETCD recovered, we need to set up second and third ETCD. Those process is similar to single ETCD loss case. The first, we need to recover the second ETCD member. After that, we need to make it join to closer. Then automatically ETCD2 will synchronize data from the first ETCD. And then we need to recover the last one. It is very similar to the second one. First, we need to recover the third ETCD member. And then we need to make it join to the cluster then automatically synchronize the data from the other ETCD members. So everything is done. Our ETCD is back, OpenShift also back. 
the order of etc number it can be different with a real demo however it is not that much important the most important thing is the process